Buongiorno, buongiorno, si mangia? What do we eat today? Today we make peas and pasta. Uh, how do we make peas and pasta? Very simple. We have one leek, we have onions, we have guanciale. Thank you Stano for donating the guanciale, I actually finally found it. And then we have equal parts peas, 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 and we have pasta. One thing about leeks, leek is um, one of my favorite vegetables. When you find a leek uh, in a store that is not uh, cut and trimmed all the way, and you find it like this, so go ahead and cut the top to here, but do not throw this part away. This leaves are amazing in soups or as a stock or, or whatever you want to use it for but it, it's really really nutrient very good stuff and then we're gonna go ahead and cut the leek so we take we trim the bottom then we'll do one and two so cross and then chop perfetto Okay, so flame on, uh, we're gonna put the cut up guanciale in and we're gonna sweat the guanciale. Guanciale is sweat enough, it's becoming kind of crispy the way we like it. We're gonna take it out, take out the guanciale and turn down the flame a little bit and put some oil and we're gonna add the red onions and the leeks now we're gonna sweat the onions and the leeks at low heat slow cooking peasant food slow cooking Okay, so a couple of uh, things about this dish. First of all, if you don't use the guanciale, you can, it's a total vegetarian dish. Vegetarian, no guanciale. I made some uh, vegetable stock. If you don't have stock, if you don't have vegetable stock, you can use chicken stock. If you don't have either, just use hot water. It's just fine. Actually, the original recipe calls for just hot water instead of stock. So at this point we're going to put a little salt in the onion, make them sweat a little easier. A lot of smoke. Salute! Okay, so we have the onions perfectly sweat and uh, we're ready for the next step, uh, which is throwing the peas, peas in so the I use frozen peas but um, fresh peas are just fine actually <laughs> fresh peas are way better <laughs> than frozen but that's all I got we add some uh, fresh pepper fresh ground pepper I would say and we're gonna put a little more salt so salt the piece as well right. and at this point we're gonna start adding the stock so stock is right here these are there and we're gonna put the flame in at high and wait till it boils for this dish we will need no cheese no cheese at the end no cheese at the beginning no cheese after or before basta cheese Okay, so the water or stock is boiling right now. It's time to cook the pasta, throw the pasta in. So we're gonna put the pasta in, and this is gonna take about eight minutes for the pasta, and same for the peas. So it's about the same cooking time. We're gonna fold it in, and just like a risotto, we're gonna wait till all the broth is absorbed to add some more broth. Okay, so our pasta is basically done. We're gonna wait till 
we get a little more moisture out to make it pretty very nice and creamy it's actually happening right now you can see the cream forming the, from the starch and the peas and peas are cooked perfectly a little crunchy but but not raw To finish this dish, we're going to add on some very good extra virgin olive oil, just a tiny bit. And we're going to do some fresh ground pepper. Buon appetito! Mangia, mangia! Mmm! Wow! Squisito! Fantastico! Lots of flavors, fresh, vibrant, really, really light. Enjoy it! so much beautiful unfortunately my friend from overseas didn't uh, show up yet uh, or again so we'll see hopefully next week buon appetito